Sorry if I interrupted you. Oh, I didn't realize there was anyone else in here. I'm looking for an emergency shelter? I guess... You're not here for the reunion? No. Just my luck. Did everyone else get the message except for me? What a screw up. That was elegant. Lacking in finesse, but... Ten for effort. Michelle Valdez. Harry Mason. Nice to meet you, Harry. So, what brings you here? I'm looking for my daughter. She's missing. I convinced myself she'd be here. She's a midwitch student? No, no. She's just seven. Her name is Cheryl. Cheryl Mason? Yeah. There was a Cheryl Mason when I was here. She was above me at school. <sighs> Must be a different girl, same name. She's seven. I'll show you. Come look. There you go. That's an old photo. You say she ran off? No. We were in a car accident. That can't be my daughter. <laughs> How many Cheryl Masons could there be in a small town like this? She even looks like you. There is a resemblance, but my Cheryl's just a kid. You don't sound so sure. Come on. Yeah, how could he be sure about how old his daughter is? That's crazy. The principal's office? Yep. Locked. But... With a little... persuasion... <laughs> You're breaking into the principal's office? I don't see any hall monitors. Evening, Mrs. Albright. You cow. Is she still around? I remember her. She was when I graduated. I think she'll be here until someone drives a stake through her cold secretarial heart. That's the principal's PC. All the school records are on it. Students used to hack it to fix their grades. Hey, I was good at school. Principal Fisher was obsessed with changing his passwords. And we're hacking into his PC to... See if you can pull up the records for Cheryl Mason. See if she's your daughter. Prove me wrong. If I do, we get out of here? Sure. Take your time. I'm just gonna text my boyfriend to find out where the hell he is. Alright. Time to do some PC hacking. Cause I'm Harry Mason. And that's not right. Of course. I forgot my password. I said goodbye to bachelorhood, freedom, and happiness. Where? Alright. So, littered around this guy's office is various things detailing his life. And we have to find out what's up. Married in Hawaii. Yep. So apparently it's a good marriage. Since he talks about it in a negative manner. Oh, why he? Oh no! That's not how you spell Hawaii. There we go. The king of sports, a man's game of squash. The king of sports, a man's game of squash. I believe that's baseball. That's wrong. The king of sports, a man's game of squash. Okay, I was wrong. I'm an idiot. I don't know what squash is. I'll admit it right now. I have no clue. Ah, uh, it doesn't tell me what it is. Bunch of file files that don't mean anything. Obviously. 
Hamlet King. Okay, so he's obviously a Shakespeare fan. Yeah, okay. A dog collar? Okay. Whoa, what's this? Racquetball. That's what it was. A racquetball. I'm stupid. I, I, like I said, I don't know what I don't know what squash is. I'm not quite sure how. No, I'm not quite sure how racquetball is the man's version of it. But you know, whatever. And I can't type. Jeez. This is fun. I like typing. Typing's my bestest buddy, especially when I type bulk into the ball. There we go. Probably the best Shakespeare comedy. Oh, I didn't. I didn't memorize any of these. All right, I'm gonna guess it's this yellow one that's in yellow over here. What is this? I can't read it. Revelation. Revelation. Okay, let me check these anyway. Hamlet, Henry the Fourth, The Tempest, and Twelfth Twelfth Night. All right, we'll try Revelation. Just just because that's actually one I'm not familiar with. You can boo me all you want right now, but I am actually not familiar with this particular work. Maybe I should be. I don't know. Don't read a lot of Shakespeare, just a few. There we go. That was super awesome. I love that. I didn't I didn't know Twelfth Night or Revolution, Revelation, I don't know what the hell it was. Anyway, I never even heard of either of them, so screw it. Alright, Sunday forty five. Yep. You know when you use your make up personal questions to remember your password, you should probably not use things that are around the computer that you're password encoding. Just gonna take a stab in the dark at that one. Shit. You break it? It just froze on me. It is her. It is her. We moved? You don't remember because of the accident? Simmons Street. It's not a great neighborhood. Why would we move there? I guess the cop was right. My ID was old. That wasn't my house. What else did I forget? There's a phone number. Why don't you call it? I will. There's no reception. I'll be outside. Good luck. Yes? Cheryl? No, Dahlia. You want me to find her? Who's calling? It's her father, Harry Mason. Is she okay? Harry? Is she okay? Who the hell do you think you are? Sorry? What's the... Leave me alone! Oh, that's just super. We can't get back to, uh... We can't get back to Michelle. And we can't... Okay, the only option is to leave. And that will, of course, start the chase. And we have a waypoint of... Uh, apparently... Whoops, that's not right. We have a waypoint around here somewhere. I believe it's that X right there. But you have to actually run all the way around and come down like that. It's not that hard. The high school is actually really easy. Uh, beyond having to do one step. <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not uh, easy to get yourself lost. It's uh, very easy to, to find your way. But anyway. Also, I'd like to comment on the fact that, they, that, that the guys at Silent Hill, or the guys who made Silent Hill, anyway, since Team Silent's not working on it anymore, uh, they decided to Silent Hill up You Were Always On My Mind by uh, Elvis Presley, which is uh, an interesting choice. But it, it kind of fits this setting when you... Uh, know what's going on and I'm apparently not 
quite as sexually aligned as I thought I was because she's supposed to be in a slutty dress and supposed to be flirt with you a lot and she didn't. So anyway, <sighs> that's that's it. I'm gonna save. Yeah, I'm sure, because I'm out of time. But I will see you all next time.